Okay, a battery of EMF 12 volt is connected in series with a capacitor okay, and a resistor as shown in the circuit above. What is the charge in the capacitor 10 millisecond after the switch S is closed? Uh, so here, look at here, he say the switch S is closed. Initially, the switch is opened. Uh, the switch is open. So I, I want to ask you the first thing. Is this charging or discharging process? Ah, you must make sure, you must check that one first. Is this charging or discharging process? Because different process, different equation. Okay? So, look at this. Initially, the switch is open. Switch is open, the initial charge is zero. No, the capacitor is uncharged. Ah, when the switch is open, uh, the capacitor actually is uncharged, not yet charged. Uh, once, once you close the switch, once you close the switch, close the switch, uh, then it start the charging process. Uh, start the charging process because there is a battery. Okay, because there is a ba battery there. There's a battery there. Uh, once you close the switch, there's a battery there. Uh, in the circuit to charge up the capacitor. Understand? Uh, then it starts to charge up the capacitor. Uh, okay, so this is a charging process, yeah? Charging process. Okay, so uh, here we have... Um, okay, finally, this capacitor will charge to the maximum charge and also maximum voltage. I can say the voltage of the uh, once uh, the capacitor has the maximum voltage, it has it the vo the voltage of the capacitor will be equal to voltage of the battery. Uh, so I can say uh, finally I can say uh, finally okay the maximum voltage of the capacitor is actually equal to voltage of the battery, which is 12 volt, ah, understand? Be 12 volt. Uh, later on, uh, but the uh, the voltage of the resistor is zero. Okay, uh, I can say finally, uh, finally, yeah, finally, the voltage of the capacitor, the voltage of the capacitor is equal to 12 volt, but voltage across the resistor is zero, uh, zero volt, yeah, because um, uh, after after charge maximum, after maximum charge capacitor, there will be no more current. No more current. So the resistor will be zero voltage. Uh, with zero voltage. Yeah? Uh, that one I, I need you to know. Yeah? So, okay. So here also give us the time taken. So this is the time, 10 millisecond. So the question actually asks for what? Ask for charge. Uh, what, is the, what is the charge? after after 10 millisecond uh, so okay so uh, so we know it is about charging process yeah it's a charging process so we're going to use formula under charging process so charging process uh, the charge increase voltage increase current decrease okay current decrease so but this question asks about charge charge so uh, we're going to use the formula for charge, charge under charging process. Okay, the charge increase for this charging process, the charge decrease. Uh, see that the difference for charging, the charge increase, discharging, charge decrease. Uh, only one thing is common between charging and discharging. That is the current. Current always decrease. Charging process current decrease. Discharging process the current also decrease both decrease you see both uh, process the current decrease but for ch for charge for charge uh, in charging process the charge increase discharging process the charge decrease uh, but we're going to use this one lah, yeah okay we're going to use this charge for charging process okay write down the formula Ch for this is a charging process so the charge actually increase and equal to Q naught. Alright. So this one we put 
uh, exponent or 1 minus exponent. Uh, still remember? I told you already. If increase, increase, use 1 minus exponent. 1 minus exponent. But if decrease, you see, decrease, 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 or use exponent. Ah, okay. So I want to write it over here. If increase, uh, we use 1 minus exponent. If decrease, we use, we use what? We use exponent. So this one, the charge increase during charging process. So this one we use, we use, uh, uh, we're going to use 1 minus exponent. Uh, we're going to use 1 minus exponent. Understand? Because the charge increase, so we're going to use 1 minus exponent. And then the rest is the same. This is uh, negative T over RC. Uh, that's the that's the formula. Yeah, negative T over RC. Usual one, all the same for all the all the other. Okay, negative T over RC. So this is the formula. Charge increase. If increase, use one minus exponent. Yeah, one minus exponent. Okay. So do we have all the information? Q naught. Do we have Q naught? No, we don't have the Q naught. So we need to find out. Uh, but we already have the V naught. Ah, this is actually the this is the voltage of the battery. Uh, this voltage of the battery will, will be equal to the maximum voltage of the capacitor. You understand? Ah, uh, so we have the V naught also. We can find the Q naught. Understand? Because we also have the capacitance. Okay, here it didn't write clearly, so I write clearer for you to see. This is actually twelve volt. Uh, this is a uh, 10 microfarad 10 microfarad this is a uh, 1 kilo ohm yeah uh, 1 1 kilo ohm okay so now i can find my q naught also so how to find my q naught my q naught actually is uh, cv naught q equal to cv ah uh, q equal to cv so i can put in my capacitance c this is my c uh, this is my R, okay. Uh, this is my C. Uh, this is my R, okay. Uh, so, okay, I have the C already. Put in the C there. Uh, my C is there. So, 10 micro, micro farad, micro is exponent negative 6. Uh, exponent negative 6. Voltage, uh, that's the maximum voltage. 12 volt is my maximum voltage. Finally, you know, the, cap the maximum voltage of capacitor will be equal to the battery, 12 volt. But the voltage across cap the resistor will be zero, okay? Because no more current. Um, yeah, because in the end, because in the end, finally the current will drop to zero. See the charging process. See the charging process. Finally, the current will drop to zero. See that the current will drop to zero, drop to zero. Uh, that's why uh, V equal to you know V equal to I R. Uh, when the current drop to zero already. When uh when the charging process has uh finished, when the capacitor has fully charged, fully charged, the charging process stop. When the charging process stop, so the current also stop flowing. The current also stop flowing. Uh, so uh the IR will be uh, the current becomes zero. So IR also becomes zero. That's why voltage across the resistor becomes zero. Finally, okay. Uh, okay, that's uh, just find our maximum uh, maximum charge here. We already have the maximum uh, voltage, so we can find we already have the maximum voltage, so we can find maximum charge. Okay, so our maximum voltage is twelve volt. Maximum voltage of the capacitor finally. So let's find the maximum charge first. So ten exponent uh, negative six. 10 exponent negative six uh, multiplied by twelve volt. So that is um. Ah, uh, 1.2 exponent, uh, exponent negative 4, negative 4. Column, okay, that's the answer. Okay, that's the answer. So, write it down over there. That's our maximum charge, finally. Okay. Uh, and then, 1 minus exponent, negative T. What is the T? Uh, 10 milliseconds. So, 10 milliseconds. Oh, this one just put somewhere else. Okay. Okay. 10 millisecond. Milli is exponent negative 3. Exponent negative 3. 
Okay, and then divide by resistance. Resistance is one kilo ohm. Kilo exponent exponent three. Yeah, exponent three. Okay, that's the that's uh, not not second. It's ohm. Uh, ohm. Uh, resistance. Resistance. Eh, hey, no, no, no. Ah, yeah, lah. Uh, this kilo is exponent three, lah. Yeah, kilo is exponent three. That's correct. Uh, ohm. And then uh, RC, C, capacitor, 10 microfarad, micro exponent negative 6, uh, exponent negative 6. Ah, okay. Uh, that's correct, 10 exponent negative 6. Okay, so let's calculate our answer, 1 exponent 3, multiply 10 exponent uh, negative 6. Okay. And then 10 exponent uh, negative 3 divide by the answer. Okay, I got that. And then uh, 1 okay, to the power of um, uh, negative this 1. Okay. Okay, 1 minus this. Okay. And then multiply by 1.2 exponent, neg uh, exponent negative 4. Answer. Okay, the answer is uh, 7.59. Uh, 7.59. 7.59 exponent uh, negative 5 column. Okay, exponent negative 5 column. Oh, the answer is in micro. Okay, change to micro. So, uh, 7, uh, I can say 75.9. Uh, exponent okay go one step behind become bigger this one become negative six this one become negative six okay so this 75.9 uh, exponent negative six is actually micro yeah actually is micro uh, micro yeah exponent negative six is micro okay that's the answer 75.75.9 micro column that's the answer Yes, that's the answer. 76 microcoulomb, that's the answer. I got it. Okay, so that's how we do the questions. I hope you understand. Okay, and um, see you again. Bye-bye. Uh,